Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So today we will continue our learning on T Navigator. And in previous series of video, we talk about assisted history matching and we run 25 scenarios with variables that are used uh, for history matching. And as you can see, we already completed the computation. And you can see the elapsed time. So this, the, the, the model is quite small and the history is, I think it's quite short. So that's why we can achieve a pretty quick calculation. Okay, so now we will review the result. Currently we are under the yeah, calculations. We can go to project info first, if you want to check and calculations, okay. And here we can click on this one, objective functions and results. All right, seems pretty interesting. So here, the legend here shows all the case that we have. And this is the result, the X. Axis is the time and the Y axis. Currently we are looking at the oil total. You can also go to here, total, water total, liquid total, gas total, and so on and so forth. And also for the flow rate, oil rate, water rate, liquid rate. Okay. But for this case, we are, we will be focusing on the oil total and water total, but maybe in some cases or in your own cases, you prefer looking at focusing on the rate rather than the total. Okay, so it's finally go back to you. All right, here we have several items features to be reviewed here. The first one is objective function. So by the way, if we go back to graph, basically we can evaluate the mismatch of all the runs with the, the, the base case, the history case. We can review, we can assess, evaluate the mismatch using many, many variables. I can look, I can assess the quality of the matching based on oil total or maybe based on water total only, or maybe based on oil rate only, okay? You can use any single individual parameter to be used to assess the quality of the matching. But I think it will be better if we use rather than individual parameter, but we will use combined parameter. So within the combined parameter, we include, we honor, we consider several parameters already. Okay, and that's what we will do. And first, go to oil total. So I, I will use oil total as well as water total. I will combine them. I will combine those two and I will make a new parameter. I will call the new parameter as objective function, okay? So using the objective function, this new parameter, I will assess the quality of the matching. Is the matching good enough or it's not, okay? So I will create the objective function here, okay? Let me squeeze, let me expand this one. So oil rate mismatch. Okay, so you have the table there. That table is important. And function type, we have history matching quadratic, history matching linear, history matching standard, forecast optimization or custom. Currently we are focusing on, or we are doing history matching. So we only focus on history matching quadratic, linear or standard, okay, to get more freedom to to get the best match i think i recommend you to use quadratic rather than linear or standard okay so i will use 
quadratic and here I only include currently one parameter which is oil rate but for this case rather than using oil rate I am more interested in using oil total and water total so I just not focused on oil only, but I will also honor the water, okay? So, yep. So here, you go to field and choose under the parameter for the field oil total. And currently the Deviation 0 0.05, deviation type relative, something like this. But I will use more parameters and I will take on also from field and it will be water total. Okay. And you can change the start date and end date. Okay. So maybe you want to focus on a certain parameter on a certain period of time, you can do that. But I want to first match the entire production history. So that's why I think I will use all the entire period of time. Okay, from 1967 to 1983. Okay. All right. I think it's good already. So this is our objective function. If you're interested, you can add even more parameters. But yeah, I think for the time being, let's start simple. So I am I will just use two. Okay. And currently we are looking at oil total or water total. And versus date but we can also review this, show difference between historical and calculated values, like this, if you want. Okay. And you can also review the visualization setting if you want, and so on and so forth. Under this window, there are many, many features. So yeah, I think it's not possible to talk all the feature, so I will leave it to you to learn it by yourself. Okay, we can also, what is this? Export table data to file, lot history for bottom hole pressure to being head pressure. Okay, so for pressure, we will load history. So if you have your own data prepared already, you can load it into this interface. Okay, you can also take snapshot or even print. Okay, so that's for the objective function. Let's go to table. 